Hi, and welcome to our channel. We are the Nomads on Deck. On our last episode, we shared the beginning of our renovations. We started working in our bedroom and also we finished our living room floor. But the biggest event was that we moved out of our apartment. We sold almost everything and we spent the first night in the boat with our puppies. And if you haven't seen it, make sure you go watch it. And this week's episode is a very special one for us. It is our wedding day and we're bringing you along. I hope you enjoy it. Last December, Jeremiah had a beautiful surprise for me. He proposed a few days before Christmas in a wonderful place full of Christmas lights, which is my favorite. We celebrated, we were so excited, and we started planning our wedding right away. A few weeks later, I flew to New York to spend time with my family and my friends. We went dress shopping and it was an absolute dream come true because I thought I was going to do it alone since they all live in Costa Rica. But that dress that you're looking at is not the one that I used. I actually ended up changing it, but I was so excited that I was able to do that with them. However, as we all know, COVID happened. All of our plans were canceled, everything that we wanted to do, we couldn't do it since my family lived in a different country. We were terrified about everything and we just didn't know what was going to happen with our very special day. However, because of our family members' health, we decided to do something small. I was very sad because my family was not going to be able to be a part of my wedding. And actually on this video, it's two weeks before the wedding, they called me and told me that the borders reopened and they were able to come. As you can see, I'm crying nonstop. It was so sad, but I was so excited that my family was going to be part of my wedding. It was just another dream come true and just so many things that I thought were not going to happen just happened. And on our wedding shower, our amazing group of friends surprised us telling us that they were coming to our wedding. We live in Florida, so they all had to fly to Ohio just to be a part of our wedding and it was just beautiful. They took me for a spa day as my bachelorette day and they took Jeremiah fishing, of course, for his bachelor's party. And it was just a wonderful weekend before the wedding. We are getting married this weekend, so we are getting ready to go to the airport. There's Jeremiah. There's Jeremiah. There's Melly, Uwe, and we are ready to go. Complete, all the oxygen is flowing. If you are seated next to a small child or somebody needing assistance, please secure your mask first and then assist the other person. Let's go get married. As detailed on the safety information card in the unlikely event of a water landing, there That was one of my favorite moments of the weekend because my family made it and I was so happy they were there. Thinking about getting married without my mom and my sisters was completely heartbreaking and it made me cry every single time I thought about it. So them being there made everything better. Today. Our wedding day and we are married! This is my hubby. And this is my wife. My husband. Hello. There's my husband. Hello. Let me see that ring. Ooh. We are in this gorgeous restaurant. We are 
going back home and we got married. How do you feel, husband? Feels really good. How do you feel? Really good. Also Jay because it's very windy, but how sweet is this? So we are married and we are back in the boat and as you saw last night on the video, our neighbors put a super cute sign with balloons and today we are opening all of our gifts from the wedding Yay. because we got everything for the boat. So we asked um our people to instead of buying us random things we asked them to buy things for the boat or to help us build our boat so we are going to open it with you guys because it's going to be part of the inside of the boat so the first thing we want to share we actually got it ourselves but we just got it today so we are super excited you want to open it sure this is from west marine mm -hmm. nothing you may continue we got two lifeline netting packages because they only come in uh, 50 foot lengths and 50 foot was not enough. So we had to get two and we got a pack of their uh, lifeline hanging clips that we'll just put over our, uh, over our railing and then hook up to the netting and we'll be good to go. This is for our puppies not to fall in the water because we had an almost accident. So, safety first. So this one was bought off of our registry by some relatives. Uh, uh, we're going to go ahead and have uh, my wife open this one. I'm a wife now. This is a thermometer. We wanted to have it because if we need to go to the store, we need to go somewhere and we can take the dogs, we can have a thermometer and it's actually linked to the phone and it will let us know if it's getting hot or not. Right now we're hooked to the power so if somebody disconnects it or something happens, we will know if it's getting hot and we actually get a notification from that. She's going to continue to open this one. Here you go. We're going to be testing all of this and if we like it, we're going to be linking it to our website which is coming soon in case if you are interested and you like it. So same thing, we were worried about our puppy safety and we wanted to get a camera to make sure that we can keep an eye on them if, you know, we don't ever leave them for more than a couple of hours. but. If something happens, we will be able to see them and see what's going on. Camera. And it comes with uh, chargers, lens covers, cables, um, even wall mount hardware. So you could mount it discreetly somewhere and not have it take up precious counter space, especially on a boat where that's uh, very few and far between. Okay, so next is something that we got for our couch that we don't have yet, but eventually we, we will. We still have to build it. And it's just pillow covers, but I love them. The next thing that we got was from one of our church friends. Um, we got our new bathroom faucet which is going to be replacing the one, obviously, in the bathroom. Uh, the one that we have now is a built-in, so it's the sink is built into the countertop. It's all one piece. And then the faucet is uh, kind of like your standard, uh, cheapest one that, can, that you can get from the store. It's like maybe 25 or 30 bucks. And it does come with all of the hardware that we need. We've got our hoses here. We have our drain, a drain key to put the drain in, and then miscellaneous O-rings and hardware to go with it. So that'll be a fun little project to throw in there one day. Soon? Yes. And we got our kitchen faucet, which is super cute. 
So we wanted to have everything black and white when it comes to sinks and faucets. So we got our kitchen faucet and it's super cute. Another project for Jeremiah to have. Thanks for all the homework, friends. And last but certainly not least, we got our new bathroom sink which I know right now compared to me, it looks massive, but we are gonna be building a new countertop like my wife said a few minutes ago. Uh, so we're gonna actually be building it to accommodate this and extend it just a little bit so that um, this doesn't feel like it's quite so big when it's on that countertop space. So we're super excited to have all of these renovations to show you guys and to update the style of our boat slash home and we can't wait to share it with you guys but yeah that's what we got and we're super excited and we are moving a lot you didn't that's like the third time you said that i know because we're moving a lot so that's it once we have them all ready or once we're working on it we'll, we're going to be showing it to you guys but we wanted to share our little registry Again, we had a very small wedding and most of the gifts were monetary contributions because we want to get things done for the boat. And but we were also flying, so we couldn't bring anything back with us. Yeah. So if our friends or family and family are watching, thank you so much for all of your gifts. Everything will be put into our boat and we will be showing you guys as we go. Thanks for stopping by for another episode of Nomads on Deck. could stand here too all the nights been pushing through fight for all we had to lose reaching out for something to pull us up to the level ground oh i can see